Another interesting episode. In this episode, we are looking at how to win in an interview. Seven rules that will make you win any interview. And in fact, what we are trying to look at to in, in, into in this video, we are looking into uh, what is required of you if you were to do an interview. What are the prerequisites for every individual to pass an interview? So, if you are interested, then stick around because I'm going to give you more about that. Are you interested to know more about that? You know what I'm saying? What I've just said, stick around because I will do exactly what I've promised you. I'm going to discuss more about that. To those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, guys, it is free of charge. There is no other YouTube channel in the YouTube space that is going to cater for you except what I do here. What I do here is basically I'm covering you guys in all aspect of it. If you are looking for job, uh, job, uh, look, so if you are looking for business ideas, you come to this YouTube channel. If you are looking for funding, you come to this YouTube channel. If you are looking for jobs that are available in this country you come to this youtube channel but if you're looking for also interviews how to pass an interview you come to this youtube channel because in this youtube channel we deal with um we deal with jobs and business ideas that's why the name of this youtube channel it is sa business ideas and jobs so without further ado let's get into rule number one how to pass an interview what interviewers are often looking for number one uh, interviewers wants to wants a highlight reel not an ex exhaustive list of everything you have done. Distinguish this. They don't want to get to know how, where you sleep, what you do, and all this unnecessary stuff. Learn to highlight the key about yourself. Whenever they ask a question, learn to highlight the most important thing. One thing you should know in an interview is that they want the highlight of you, not the depth of you. They will get to know you when they employ you. So learn to learn to market yourself in a short space of time. Say the most important things. You know what I'm saying? And number two, to be a stronger candidate, you need to understand the role of each person you interview with. Right, but this one can be a little bit tricky, because you know at times you go into a company where you don't know them, they don't know you, you don't even know each and every single individual. But if you are an observant individual, the moment they greet you, your greatest friend is true. Or the first thing that you should try to do is to try to understand their personalities and try to understand who they are. In this short space of time, as they are busy asking those questions, because uh, often in an interview, they have these questions that I call them ice breaking before they can ask the real questions. During those questions that are ice breaking, that's where you should try by all means to know. Um, you know, I'm going to give you a tip here. There is something called four temperaments. That's where you find your choleric, your sanguine, your what, 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 what. Yeah. There are four. Choleric, sanguine, um, melancholy, and I forgot the other one. So study those things. When you talk to them, just... The best thing you can do is to gauge if you are talking to a choleric, a sanguine, or what. Then you can understand that, okay, a choleric often has got this weakness and the strength. A uh, sanguine has got this, you know what I'm saying? And then you can know, you, then you can easily understand, okay, I'm dealing with this type of people and then you can handle them appropriately. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you, I've got you in this YouTube channel. Now, let's move into number three. Number three, your body language makes a big difference. Eh? You know, there are people there. Uh, they are going to say, mm, I trust you, but the body language says, I don't trust you. What are you most likely to believe? Is that they don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? People must learn to understand that if uh, if people, if, if a company is looking for a customer, a uh, person that is going to be dealing with customer service, they probably are interested in how you speak. They're probably interested in how, uh, in your facial expression. You cannot go there with a set face. But they are looking for a customer service and think that they will happily employ you. That's never going to happen. So people need to work on their body language. What's your facial expression says? What's your, the type of clothes that you are wearing? What does it say? What message is it portraying? You know what I'm saying? They look into all those minor things that you consider them minor. Number four, you need to be prepared with more than one career story to tell. Hey, the sound gets a little bit tricky as well. It's tricky in a sense that 
a lot of a lot of people only knows one thing, but sometimes it's not a crime to only knows one thing. But if you don't you know only one thing, make it a point that you highlight the fact that you are you are teachable. You you are a person that is willing to learn. You are a person that is willing to come out of your comfort zone. Highlight that the most. You know, in if you know sales, guys, in sales, I can sell you a broken car, but make the mistakes or, or make this car issue small while I uh, uh, while I highlight why you should buy the car and the power of the, the the gleams and all those things the glamour and all the stuff that comes with this car to get the point so in all essence or in, in all essence of it now what you need to do learn to make people see your mistakes as a small thing while they see your strength as bigger things if you can learn to highlight that there is probably no interview that you can't win let's jump into um number five number five is Follow up is not going to speed up an offer, right? Uh, follow up comes in different shapes of form. Some people will do follow ups in a sense that they will call and try to understand whether I'm getting this job or I'm not getting this job. But there is follow up that can leave a mark in an interviewer's mind. You know what's that follow up? Look at whatever they ask you make it a point for, take for instance they ask a question of what time or what time do you wake up maybe the follow-up question will be um what is maybe ask a question that is more about them more than you you know what i'm saying because right now the question of what time do you usually wake up it is like like it or not it has got to do with you coming to work so now if you were to do a follow-up question you will then find a way of asking a question about coming coming early at work for instance you ask a question of what do i do how who do i talk to if for instance i'm using a public transport and then a taxi happens to break you know and um, in order for me to get the next text i'm gonna have to wait probably for 30 minutes and in that 30 minutes i will then be late so to see the follow-up question now, you are now showing them that you are a responsible person even though you are late. So you move away from you being late, but you, you're going into, I'm a responsible individual that does not necessarily decide to be late. But I make it a point that even if I'm late, I'm, I will do, I, I will communicate thoroughly. And that's the most interesting part about communication at large. So we move into um, number six. Number six is a thank you note can be uh, can be networking opportunity, but it will not get you the job. Yeah, there are people who overdoes a lot of things. Eh, uh, they overdo a lot of things that they do. They overdo. If you are complimenting people, you must know how to do it. I mean, the how part is key. Take for instance, you want to propose to a certain woman. If you are a man, okay. I know the people now men propose to men, but let's use this example where uh, it is heterosexuality. Okay, yeah, it's where men and women are in a relationship. If you want to propose to a woman, chances are she used to, she's used to getting those proposals. The question is, how can you stand up, stand out as you propose to her? So you're going to find different methods to get into her heart. To get a point, that's just simple because if you're going to go straight and say, yeah, I love you, she's used to that. It's not new to her. So find a way, a unique way of saying thank you in a way that they, that your thank you will last longer in their mind and create a long lasting impression. Now we're getting into the last one. The last one is no matter how great the interview makes you feel about a prospective employer, check with people who actually work there. All right. That's this one. Yeah, I think it is simple. Uh, the, uh, Times in life where you look, it looks like um, the job is yours and everything looks cool, you know what I'm saying? Everything, I mean almost everything looks cool, but it's not necessarily cool, you know what I'm saying? There are working environments that an interviewer will never tell you about, you know. So it's, um, it is very important for you to understand the company that you, are, you want to work with. For, take for instance, um, let's say this company, let's say for instance you are going to an interview with this company. 
what you then need to do is to go online look at the company's vision and all the stuff and then the next follow-up step is to look at the complaints now if the company is on social media look at the complaints about the company then after that you can talk to people that works in the company so you get this feedback not only from the internet but you also get this feedback from people that works there so if this does not help you then i don't know what else i can do to please you because i've tried my best but i know that you're never gonna be displaced with this information because you know what in this youtube channel we're gonna dish a content that is meant to improve you at the working environment and you're gonna thank me later for that until the next episode please take care